Hello everyone, hope you guys are doing well. Now, as you guys know, tomorrow is the exam. It's the moment of truth. And a lot of you have been asking for last minute tips and uh, what to do in the last few hours. So I thought I'll quickly make a video on this. So I have compiled a list with me of the things that I'm gonna to talk to you guys about in this video. So I'm gonna break this down into four segments, this video. So first I'm gonna to talk to you guys about the general stuff that you guys need to take care of the pre-exam the during exam and the post exam okay so four i'm going to divide this into four basically and uh, i'll share the points that i've written here on my instagram so you can go check it out from there okay so this is it's not exactly a motivational video okay so don't get your hopes high uh, i will tell you the things you need to do right now okay the important stuff okay i'm not going to paint a picture which is not true okay so i'm going to keep it specific and to the point so the general stuff, first of all, whatever you're doing, in fact, even if you're watching this video, I'd suggest you stop watching this video and check that you have all the right tools with you. You have a calculator, geometry box uh, with, with all the required tools, pencil, scale, razor sharpener, compass, um, protractor, and you know it. You've, you've been doing it all year, so you know exactly what are the things that you need. Make sure that you have a functioning calculator. Ideally, you should have two calculators, okay? One as your primary and the other as your backup. And at this point, do not get a calculator that you're not used to, okay? Get it, use only the calculator that you have been using, okay? This is not the time to experiment, so 100% not recommended. Number two, now this may sound a bit funny, but uh, it's best that you adapt this. Stay away from extremely negative or extremely overconfident people, okay? You know, there are, there are some students before the exam who are, are like, you know, we're failing, uh, you know, they basically try to tell you how bad of a situation they're in, okay? No no hard, I mean, I do feel sorry for them, okay? And uh, again, no offense to them, but it's best that you stay away. They might, you know, bring your motivation level down or they end up demotivating you, so it's best that you stay away from them. And also, people who are extremely confident, or, I mean, overconfident, not confident, confident is a good thing, of course, but who are, you know, extremely positive and, you know, they're like, oh, it's too easy, you know, it's a piece of cake, it's, it's a, uh, we will pass it effortlessly. So again, no offense to anyone, but what I'm saying is, at this point, what's important is how you feel rather than what others are feeling, okay? So you need to concentrate on what you're feeling and it's best that you stay away from people who are either extremely negative or, you know, unnecessarily positive. Okay, number three is that do not do anything that's out of routine, okay? Do not eat anything that's out of routine. Do not um, do anything at all that's, that's out of your routine, okay? Stay in routine. This is not the time to experiment. So uh, whatever it is that you have been doing, make sure that there's absolutely nothing that's unusual. Okay, you don't know how the, the kind of effect that it will have on you, so best to avoid that. Number four, this is something that uh, I asked, get asked a lot, and that's threshold, okay? That's not something for you to worry about. Never count on the threshold. Always count on your own preparation, okay? So that's something I've said all year round. Do not worry about the threshold. I don't know what the th threshold is. If someone claims to know what the threshold is, I don't think that's possible, okay? But again, not something you should be worried about. Just focus on your own preparation. Number five, get enough sleep to have a functioning brain during the exam, okay? That's very important. It's not something, uh, I mean, I can't emphasize enough on this, okay? I know it's the exam is in, is in PM time, but uh, that means it's in the afternoon. But again, do get enough sleep, okay? The, the, an important uninterrupted night sleep is, is, is very important, okay? So do not uh, try to pull an all-nighter and say, okay, okay, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a whole revision of uh, everything, to, uh, just a night before the exam, not recommended. Okay, and uh, this, now I'm gonna talk to you guys about how you can do some revision, okay? So this is like the pre-exam stuff. So do not attempt any past paper. This is not the time to test yourself. I'm sure nine or at least, or, or, or maybe 10 out of 10 teachers will tell you that a night before the exam is not when you test yourself, okay? This is the time where you should be into, where you should be, you know, uh, start relaxing yes and i i do mean that okay you should be relaxing by now there's there's no point in doing past papers right now whatever preparation that had to be done it has been done okay at this point you cannot improve your preparation okay you can only make it worse which again is something you don't want and which is why i recommend that you do not do not by any means test yourself okay this is not the time to do that if you do want now i know it's it's kind of uh, easier said than done uh, i'm sure you're itching to you know, practice something and it, it just doesn't feel right. If you have an exam tomorrow and you're sitting idle, 
if you really want to do that, then you should go over nodes, go over the formulas, okay? There are important formulas such as mensuration, coordinate geometry, inequalities, polygons, transformation, and uh, what else, vectors. You, can, you guys can go over uh, the videos that I've made in the past couple of weeks, okay? I've, I've posted a lot of content lately, or maybe the videos that I've made in the past, you guys can go over that, Trigno further trigonometry, important paper two topic. And the best thing you can do right now is that go over the stuff that you've already done, meaning the past papers that you've already solved, and see the errors that you made, and see why you made them, and what you can do in order to avoid those errors, okay? Now that's something I will strongly recommend. Another thing that you can do is you can go over the calculator hacks that I've made, okay? The, the calculator tricks, you guys can see that. And uh, again, uh, I mentioned this, that use the calculator that you have been using. Now, number two is, in fact, this is point number five, yeah. So one was do not attempt any past paper, two was go over notes, three was go over the calculator tricks and use the calculator that you have been using, not the time to experiment, something I mentioned earlier. Number five is that I have made, I have made a video on important paper two topics, so if you're, if you're wondering what topics you should be revising, you can watch that video and then plan your revision accordingly, okay? And then uh, detailed possible solutions are available, not videos, I should mention. These are handwritten solutions. Uh, they're available on Write. Do sign up if you haven't and uh, you can you can go over those but again do not test yourself okay that does not mean that you do a test and then you check your answers just go over the solutions if you want okay important topics that i've covered on bright transformation statistics everyday math trigonometry and further trigonometry are all covered on bright this is thing th these are things that i've been saying over and over again and other important paper two topics such as mensuration graphs of functions vectors angle properties sets and venn diagram and i hope i haven't missed out anything angle properties of circles also are available on my channel you guys can go check that out now what to do during the exam number one the most important is keep track of time okay uh i i i'm not sure about this but i think you cannot wear a smartwatch. okay i mean that makes sense but you can wear an analog watch but i think you're not allowed to constantly put it on i mean to, to have it on so you can take it off and put it right in front of you. So if you're allowed to do that, that's great. So make sure that you keep track of time, okay? Don't look here and there. There's absolutely no need for you to find out what your friend is doing or what your class caller is doing, okay? There's no need, you need to concentrate on yourself, okay? Best practice, the best practice that you can do is to start with questions that you are absolutely sure of, okay? In the exam, it's best that you start with questions that you're absolutely sure of, you're 100% sure that you're gonna get them right. It's best that you do those questions first and then do any other question, okay? What this will do is this will just boost your confidence, okay? And what you want during the exam is confidence. Of course, the concepts are also very important, but confidence tops, I mean, confidence is also right up there, okay? Keep checking as you solve and then do a quick review when you're done. So best is that you, if you're, for, while you're solving, make sure that you keep checking as you go along and then do a quick review once you're done with the entire thing. And this is something I've been saying over and over again, give non-exact final answers correct to three significant figures and angles correct to one decimal place. Read the instructions carefully. You'll find all of this written in the instructions. Post exam, now this is when you're done with the exam, you're out of the hall. It's best that you do not, I know this is very tempting, but it's best that you do not discuss your paper with anyone. Whatever has happened has happened, okay? You can't go, you can't go and change anything that you've done. I mean, with this, you have more to lose than you have to gain, okay? So if your answer is right and you compare it with a friend, compare it with a friend, so if it's right, that's, that's great, okay? You feel good, but if it's not, God forbid, then you know, you kind of feel worse. And that's, that's not something you want because this is not your last exam, you have more exams coming up, so you don't, you don't want to bring that, bring your confidence level down or bring your, you know, be demotivated after, after, the, after the math exam. And now this is very important, do reach out to me on YouTube, Instagram, and let me know how it goes, let me know if the content helped. And uh, last but not the least, do remember me in your prayers, and not just me, whoever's helped you along, along the way. Uh, be it your teacher, be it your family member, friend, whoever it is, do remember them in your prayers. And that's it. That's all I wanted to discuss with you guys. Hopefully I haven't forgotten anything. I'll take a screenshot of uh, whatever it is that I'm reading from and post it on my Instagram. You guys can check it out from there. So yeah, that's that's all for, I mean, that's this is probably the last video that I'm posting for the July-August series. So you know, hope you, I hope the content benefited all of you. And that's it. I'll, I don't know if I should say this. I'll see you guys in the next video because I don't know if I will. So that's it. Take care. Bye-bye.